After years of planning and working with staff and other church members, our renovation project is finally complete. And I'm so excited that it turned out better than I could have expected. It's really awesome to see the new energy in our worship services and the new worship center with all the new technology and sound and lighting. Our platform up front is now a more flexible space. It can be used for orchestra, choir, organs, baptisms, a number of different activities and different functions can occur in that space. One of the things that I'm the most excited about on our platform are these modular risers that we can use for choir or instrumentalists or other kinds of presentations. We can use them for almost anything. We've got enough risers that we can seat uh, about 50 singers in a choir in the center of the stage. We've got uh, 60 chairs that we use on stage every week for our choir and our orchestra, but they're exactly the same chairs that we have down in the underground. So we have enough chairs to seat over 100 people for a special event that look just like this. Our choir also has these great monitor speakers so that they can hear exactly what they need as they're singing and as they're participating in the service. Our other instrumentalists use these in-ear monitor systems so they can use these, these in-ear monitors and dial in exactly the sound that they need to hear as they're playing in the worship service every week. We love our beautiful stained glass window. It is truly the centerpiece of our worship center. But another feature that we have is the ability to control the lighting that comes in and out of that window for special events. I've got a special treat for you. We're gonna go behind the curtain and see what is happening behind the scenes in worship every Sunday. Let's go. So over on this side of our platform, we've got storage for music and we've got a place to organize music and pass out music. And that is really an asset because we did not have that space before. Another cool feature are these backstage TV displays so that worship leaders who are waiting back here know what's going on on stage before they make their entrance. To make things even more flexible, all of our modular risers can be on wheels. So we've got this drum riser on wheels so we can roll it wherever we want to go to keep things nice and flexible. Back here, we've got even more flexible storage space and uh, we've got room for music stands and more chairs. We've got room for instruments and instrument cases. Oh, Jim's here. Let's look at the organ. Hey, Jim. Hey. How are you, Lee? I'm all right. Tell us about the organ. We've been on like a backstage tour. Tell us about this new organ. This thing is an amazing instrument. I have never been so blessed to play something so magnificent. Um, it is the highest technology I think that's out there as far as I know. It's a, it's a great organ. It's an Allen organ. It's one of the best church organs that's, that's made for churches. Um, we are blessed to be able to have it and it, it, it just so many amazing different settings and things that I have not even learned yet. So I am learning every day. Every time you see me up here on Sunday morning, it's a lesson for me too. That, but you know, of all the things that it can do, the one of the most amazing things is what kind, look at those, what should be black keys. What kind of wood, is that walnut wood? I believe That's it is. beautiful. And it is very unique. I've, I've played organs for years and I have never ever seen anything like this. So it is a very unique organ and it's very beautiful. And the pedals are the same way they oh, are yeah. designated for uh, walnuts. Play us a little something to, to close it out. It's awesome to see our online worship service and our broadcast. With the new technology upgrades, it looks better than ever. And our online broadcast is sometimes the first way we reach visitors and guests. It's really great to see God worshiped and glorified through all these new tools we have with our new facility. One of the goals of our project was to increase accessibility throughout the facility. Our worship center now has eight handicapped seating positions in the pew area. We also have a ramp backstage to allow handicap access to the platform for the first time. Through the planning process, one thing became evident was that there's an opportunity to move some walls and expose a hidden gem in our worship center. By moving these walls, we've exposed the stained glass window, and that has really become the focal point of our worship center. What an incredible view we now have in here. We made significant upgrades to our sound and lighting to enhance our worship experience. We even moved the sound booth from the second level in the balcony down to the main floor in its ideal location. 
Our project was completed on time. We began construction September of last year. Our goal was to be back in our worship center by Easter, and we accomplished that goal. We completed the project under budget. The overall project budget was $4.54 million, and we've come in nearly $100,000 below that budget. So church family, while the worship center construction is complete, our job is not finished. It's up to us now to use our new tool, our new facility, to help us do ministry. It's up to us to invite our friends and neighbors to come to church. It's up to us to have those gospel conversations with others while we go about our day. This is how we're going to grow the kingdom of God, and I can't wait to see how you want to use this new facility to help you do that.